Hey everybody, this is a fan art piece for Jake Parker. Uh, he's got a Kickstarter right now called Skyheart. It's going to be a graphic novel, and this is one of the main characters, Wake. Um, Jake's a really cool guy, a really cool creator. Um, he's been doing a lot of things um, recently and obviously in the past, but uh, he's got a massive like Instagram following, and um, all of his stuff is really cool looking. Um, so I, I backed this project. I'm excited for it to happen. I really hope you guys uh, can get behind him uh, in that Kickstarter. Uh, so I think he's going to really make a great product um, and story. So um, yeah, I wanted to show some love uh, to him and that project. Uh, I saw some other guys doing it, um, doing fan art, and wanted to jump on that um, because his Jake's designs are always so cool. Um, and uh, just really fun to test drive this one. Um, so this video is going lightning, lightning fast. Uh, so I'm just going to talk about quickly what what I've done. Uh, this is different than my other videos, um, which are <laughs> really long, and um, they're just different segments of my uh, my uh, process of working. Um, so this is definitely different, uh, and I think a lot more. A more fun, maybe a little more insightful just to see it all from start to finish. Um, but uh, as you can see, I've um, traced my image onto the uh, Arches illustration board um, using graphite paper. Oh man, graphite paper uh, saves my butt like all the time. Um, not obviously because I, I can't draw like bigger, but it just it's just so much faster and so much easier to uh, sketch something out. You know, you, ten to one, we usually like the sketch a lot better than if we were to um, to kind of just draw it larger. At least I do, because um, you kind of get that uh, really nice loose quality of a sketch. Um, then you just blow it up in Photoshop and uh, put it in, in design as as how big you want it and um, print it out and trace it on that graphite paper um, using a ballpoint pen. Um, so that's what I did, and uh, I usually do that when working on the illustration board. Um, also because you don't want, you know, you don't want lines, you know, embedded in your, your substrate when you're painting. Um, at least I don't uh, for, for this process, so that's why I use it, and uh, I encourage you guys to use it if you want to uh, blow up an image larger and you're looking for easy way to do it. Um, and uh, so then I moved on to um, color pencils and then I did a global wash of like uh, that orange um, to unify the colors and then um, went back in with um, color pencils on top of that once it's dried uh, and uh, then moved on to um, to the more specific uh, painting washes and I don't know if I, I think I did do that with the um, with the coat you know obviously red the pants and the um, headband blue and everything else green and um, orange so uh, just really just going back and forth uh, you know once the paint's dry um, you go back into it uh, with color pencils, and here I'm doing another uh, global wash of everything to unify the colors. And that's um, this is the second global wash is always really exciting once that's dried because you've got uh, kind of a level playing field. All the colors are kind of harmonized, um, and you're able to really pick out and distinguish what you want to um, push back. You know, using darks or lights. Um, kind of basically <clears throat> value decisions now, uh, which are to me a lot more fun than uh, color decisions. I mean, I love color, but it's just um, sometimes it's very hard to just think about you know which colors you want for certain areas. Um, but this one obviously different because it's uh, Jake's design and uh, his colors. Obviously, he's done the the quote unquote hard work there. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that was a lot more, that was fun to kind of test drive his designs and his, all his designs are, are really awesome. Um, really, I don't know, 
generous is the right word, but but uh, he's just got a real fun quality to them all. But um, looks like the video is wrapping up. Um, I did touch this up a little bit in Photoshop, as you'll see in the last image, but um, definitely go to jparker.com or Kickstarter uh, and we'll search him and um, help fund Skyheart Comic. Um, you can find it at www.skyheartcomic.com. And uh, yeah, let's get it. Let's give him some help there. Um, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.